Hey, what's up guys, Tim here. So today we're learning how to tie the single Genoese paracord bracelet, and that's this pattern here. So it's a very nice, uh, simple weave, simple to do, and uh, the appearance is, I think, very nice. It's got this uh, repeating, you know, alternating pattern, and it does have some uh, kind of negative space in the weave, as you can see there. So I've got two examples here I've done for you. I learned how to tie this weave uh, from JD Lenzen of tying it all together. So feel free to check out his channel if you haven't already. And then this is the uh, so yeah, second example I did with the orange and burgundy. All right, so in terms of uh, difficulty, I'd say this uh, bracelet is, or this weave pattern is easy, you know, novice. So uh, if you're just getting into paracord, I'd suggest you try this one out. Very nice looking, a bit more wide, but also very thin. Okay. So, uh, with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so I got my paracord ready, as usual. I've got my diamond knot tied off ahead of time. Okay, if you don't know how to do that, I will annotate that tutorial in this video. And I've got two pieces of paracord here. I'm doing the uh, burgundy here in orange on this side. Got them pre-melted and joined together. Got about four feet of each, and with this bracelet, you can go uh, with the one foot of paracord per one inch of bracelet rule. And uh, that one I think is pretty accurate for this bracelet. And uh, I'm doing about, let's say six inches actually of weaving. So I actually have a little extra on here. My overall length of my bracelet, I believe is about uh, eight inches or so. Okay, but yeah, stick with the uh, one foot per inch of par uh, bracelet rule. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're gonna start off up top as we do normally. We're gonna create our loop, and um, for this uh, beginning part, just to lock it down, instead of doing a cobra stitch, I'm just gonna do a um, kind of simple bow knot, you know, the type of knot you tie when you're tying your shoelaces. Uh, I tried it with a cobra stitch, didn't look as good, um, but we might actually end the bracelet with a cobra stitch. Anyways, uh, so let's get to it. So I'm just gonna tie simple, you know, over, under, not like that. So if you know, that very basic knot you tie when you tie your shoes. Okay, just like that. We're gonna lock that down there. Okay, so this is about where you should be to start out. I'm gonna use my thumb to create my half inch loop. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, this uh, knot or weave is very simple. So uh, it doesn't really matter which side you start off with. Um, I'm gonna start off with the burgundy, okay? So, uh, first things first, you're gonna lay the strand across the core, like that. And then you're gonna take this end here you're working with, the excess, and you're gonna put it through the loop here, from behind. Okay, so behind, and then through, like that. Okay? So that's what that should look like right now. And then you're just gonna cinch it tight. That's basically that's basically it. Very simple, and we're just going to do that now on the other side. And starting out the bracelet, uh, the knots won't be very tight, but the more knots you tie, of course, the more it'll cinch up. Okay, so now we're going to do with the orange. Probably a bit more clear on this one. So again, we're going to lay it across the core. We're going to bring it behind our core, and then through that uh, loop you created, and then we're going to pull it tight and cinch it up okay and that's basically it so I've got two knots tied and you're just gonna alternate back and forth so this is where it should be right now okay so let's just do a few more because it's really easy and uh, get a better look at what this bracelet pattern looks like as you develops one thing you'll notice see as you uh, tie the bracelet there are uh, these little negative spaces that are created because now that the initial stitches have been tied, you get this effect here with these kind of spaces behind. And of course, the tighter you pull it, uh, the smaller those gaps will be. So again, we're gonna go across the front, and then we're gonna go behind, and then pull it tight, okay? Of course, you can just, yep, work it with your thumb like that. Okay, so we're just going to continue tying our way down our bracelet. 
as you can see it's very simple and uh, we're gonna make it all the way down yeah our core and then we've got we've got the uh, adequate amount of length we can finish it off all right so I'm done weaving I've uh, woven enough down my core I've got the sufficient length I need here as you can see our bracelets nicely tied and the patterns nicely formed okay so now we're gonna finish it off and now, although um, I didn't start out the bracelet with a cobra stitch, uh, we're actually going to end it with a cobra stitch. I just found that's the best way to end this bracelet. Okay, so uh, because I ended with the burgundy here, I'm going to do my cobra stitch with my orange. So we're just going to do, uh, yeah, orange over the core, and then burgundy over that, and then we're going to put the burgundy through that loop that we created. I'm just going to pull it tight. That. And there you go. That's how you finish this bracelet off. You can lock it down like that. And then, um, yeah, we just got to cut off our excess as well as the excess on the stopper knot, and then we're finished. All right? All right, and that is it, guys. We are done. Okay? So we made it this far. Thanks for staying with me. Uh, we uh, snipped and singed our excess ends off. And there is the pattern itself. You can really see those uh, spaces like I was talking about before. Much very prominent. That's what I find really interesting about this bracelet. Yeah, that's it, guys. So, uh, if there's anything that was unclear, or if you have any uh, you know, problems or whatnot, if you need any help, please feel, feel free to leave a comment down below as usual. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, please feel free to like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe for more paracord tutorial videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one.